Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to calculate year over year in Power BI. If you know how to create year over year, it's very easy to calculate month over month also. So in this video, you will learn how to calculate year over year and you can practice how to calculate month over month. So without any delay, let's get started. Before going into the demo, let's first understand what this year over year is. Every company wants to know if it is making a progress or it's moving into losses. To understand that process, this year over year is helpful. What we do in this year over year is we get the data between two years. We give that data to the business and the and based on that data, the business analyzes if the company is making progress or it's going into losses. So the formula for this year over year to calculate the year over year would be data for the current year minus the data for previous year gives you the year over year growth. And if you want to calculate the percentage year over year percent, then the formula would be current year data minus previous year's data divided by previous year's data that would give you the percentage. So now let's get into the demo and see how to actually calculate the year over year growth. So if you look at my screen here, I have a, a blank Power BI report, but I have a few data sets here and the data sets I've taken this from AdventureWorks database. I have um, a dim product and fact internet sales from adventure works and calendar is a simple calendar table which has date month month name and year so in this report my requirement is to uh, do the year over year analysis for that I need to get the data of previous year and to do that I need to create a measure so I'll be creating measure in fact internet sales data set and i'll name the measure as sales last year so in the sales last year i'll be calculating the data i'll be calculating the sales of last last year so for that we'll be using calculate function calculate sum of sales right and the data set is fact internet sales and here we need to look for sales sale amount okay so here we are calculating sum of sale amount and that sale amount should be for previous year so for that we need to get date add function here date add and we need to take the date date column from calendar table and for previous year the interval would be minus one right and this would be for year because i'm doing year over year analysis this is for year if you want to do it uh, uh, for month over if you want to do a month over month analysis in in this place here instead of year you give month so that's all here done we created the measure just say okay and your sales for last year is ready now uh, bring a visual here cluster column chart and in this column chart i want to get um year and sale amount and sale of last year so here i have the graph because i don't have a data for 2004 it's uh, showing us blank so this is what it is uh, let's see the numbers i can actually uh, make the data labels visible here if you turn on the data labels you actually see the data here um, but just i want to see the actual numbers as well without hovering over the visual so i'm duplicating this and making this as a matrix so now I see the data 2006 if you look at the data for 2006 uh, 2006 data is 6530 and 2005's data is 326 something and this and this matches this number and this number matches sort and now I sorted it by year 
now you can see it clearly previously it was not sorted properly this is how you do the year over year analysis this is how you see you compare the data between two years so now you know how to create year over year growth you can practice how to create year over year percent change i am repeating the formula again year over year percentage is calculated by the current year's sale minus previous year's sale by previous year sale into 100 that would be the percentage change that would be year over year percentage change you can use this formula to create the measure and also please do try how to create month over month analysis as well i hope this is clear now if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below see you in the next video thank you